Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School, Morning Shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 4. Our today's topic is short question. So let us start. Our first question is 4 dozen equal to 4 dozen minus 18 equal to what? 4 dozen minus 18 equal to what? At first we want to know 1 dozen equal to how many things? We know that 1 dozen equal to 12 things. 1 dozen equal to 12 things. This 12 is multiplied with this 4. Then we find out 4 dozens equal to how many things? That means 12 multiplied by 4. If we multiply 12 by 4, then we get 48. Now, subtracting this 18 from this 40, from this 48. If we subtract, then we get 30. So, 30 is the answer. 30 is the answer. Our next question is, John had 12 glass broke. 12 glass, John has 12 glass. Five of them is broken. Sorry, student. The question is missing. Five of them. Five of them was broken. John had 12 glasses. Five of them was broke. What fraction of glasses did not break? That means here the total number of glasses is 12. And five of them is broke. So, we need to find out the number of glass which did not break. So, we subtract this broken glass from the total number of glass. Then we get the number of glass which did not broke, break. So, here the number of glasses which did not break is 7 and total number is 12. So, the fraction of the number of glasses not break uh, with the total number of glasses 12 and 5 that means 5 by 12 and 5 by 12 is the answer I repeat this question again John had 12 glasses 5 of them is broken what fraction of the glass did not break then at first we find out the number of glasses which did not break then how can we subtract this 5 from 12 and we get 7 now we find out the fraction. Here, number of glasses which did not break in is 7, which is as numerator. And total number of glasses will be the denominator. That means 7 by 12. Number 3 questions. How many pen can be bought with Taka 80? With Taka 85. If a pen cost Taka 5, that means the price of one pen is 5 taka. So, in 85 taka, we can found how many uh, pens. So, we divide this 85 by 5 and we get the amount of pens. That means 5 divided by 85. In 8, 5 goes in 1 times. 5 on the 5. Now, we subtract this 5 from 8 and we get 3. And 5 is here. In 7, 35, 5 goes in 7 times. So, the answer is 17. Answer is 17 pence. Our next question is, how many days in all are there in January and December? So, uh, before starting to solve this math, we need to know how many days are there in January and how many days are there in December. We know that there are... Uh, 31 days in January and 31 days in December. If we add this 31 days with 31 days, then we get 62 days. Then we get 62 days. Okay. Our next question is 9 hours 14 minutes equal to how many minutes? So, at first we convert this 9 hours into minutes, then we add this 4 minutes with that minutes and we get the answer. 
that means first we consider, uh, convert 9 hours into minutes. We know that 1 hour equal to 60 minutes. So we multiply this 60 by 9 and we get 9 hours equal to how many minutes? 9 6 jar 54 and 4 minutes left. This 4 minutes is add with this 540 then we get 540 minutes, 44 minutes. So 9 hours 4 minutes equal to 544 minutes. Number 4 question is done. Number 6, how many less than a score and a score is half of a dozen? That means at first we find out the half of a dozen. A dozen means 12. If we divide this uh, 12 by 2, we get 6. So half of a dozen is 6 and 1 is square equal to 20 things. Now we subtract this 6 from 20 and we get the answer. 6 to 10, 4 carrying on this 1 is here that means if we subtract 1 from 2 then we get 1. So 14 less than a score is half of a dozen. Okay. Number 7 question. Dash multiply 40 equal to 2400. How can we find out the answer? We divide this product by the multiplier and we get the multiplicand. So we divide first 40 divided by 2400. For 24 is less than 40. For this reason, we consider consider 3 digit. In 240, 40 goes in 6 times. That means 600, 0, 6, 4, 24. If we subtract, then we get 0 and 0 is here. Then in 0, 40 goes in 0 times. That means 60 is the answer. So 60 multiplied by 40 equal to 2400. Number 8 questions. Take away 75 from the sum of 85 and 65. So at first we do sum 85 with 65. If we add these two numbers, then we get 85 plus 65. 5, 5, 10, 0, carrying 1. 8 and 6, 14. And 1, 15. Take away and now we subtract this 75 and we get the answer. 0 is less than 5 for this consider there is 10 that means if we subtract 5 from 10 then we get 5. This one will be added with 7 and it will be 8. Now uh, from 15, 8 that means 7. So the answer is 75. The answer is 75. Our next question. What is the cost of two pens at Taka 18.50 is? 18.50 is meant that means the price of one pen is 18.50. We need to find out the price of two pens equal to what? The price of one pen is 18.50. 18.50. So the price of two pens in sorry five zero na, it will be four zero. Two zero zero four two zero eight eight two zero sixteen carrying on two one zero two one thirty six. So the cost of two pens at eighteen point four zero is is thirty six point eight zero taka. Our next question is. What is the place value of 5 in this number? The number is 441568. 8 is in 1's place, 6 is in 10's place and 5 is in 100th place. So the place value of 5 in this number is for, uh, 500. 500. Okay. Our next question is 13,300. And 13 ones equal to what? At first, 13,000 means this number, 1300 means this number, and 13 ones means this number. Now we add this number, 3, 1, 3, 3, 1, 4, and so the answer is 
13. Our next question is, is prime number has exactly how many factors? At first we do the definition of prime numbers. A prime number, a number which has exactly two factors is called a prime number. So, a prime number must have exactly two factors. So, is prime number has exactly two factors. Okay. Number three, when does February have 29 days? Student, we, uh, we know that February has 28 days in a year, but in a leap year, February has 29 days and leap year will be happen every four years. Okay. After four years, leap year will be happen after four years. Number 14, the product of 342 and 8. We multiply 342 with 8 and we get the answer. 8 to the 16, 8 for the 32 and 33 and carrying 3, 3, 8 the 24 and 3, 27. So, the answer is 2730 days. 15 question, fifth number 15. 9 weeks and 4 days equal to how many weeks? At first we consider this 9 weeks into days. We know that 1 week equal to 7 days. So, 9 week equal to how many days? So, 9 multiplied with 7, 9 7 are 60. 3 days that means 9 weeks equal to 63 days and this 4 days uh, 4 days is added with this 63 days and we get the amount of required answer so 67 days is the answer number 16 1 gross equal to how many dozens we know that 1 gross equal to 144 things now we convert this for 144 into dozens we know that 1 doesn't equal to 12 things. That means we divide this 144 by 12 and we get the answer. In 14, 12 goes in 1 times. If we subtract, then we get 2 and 4 is here. In 24, 12 goes in 2 times. That means 12 to the 24 and 12 is the answer. So 1 gross equal to how many dozens? 1 gross equal to 12 dozens. 17. The fifth multiple of 7 is dash. Fifth multiple that means times table of 7 and it will be 5 multiply 7. 5 7 are 35. So, 35 is the answer. Our next question is 18. Find the missing numbers 20 divided by 25 equal to dash by 5. So, how can we get 5? That means we divide this denominator that means 25 by 5 and we get this 5. So, we divide not only this numerator by 5 but also divide 20 by 5 and if you divide 20 by 5 then we get 4. So, in blank space the number will be 4, 4 by 5 that means we cut 20 and 20. 5 both by 5 and we get 4 by 5 and 4 by 4 is the answer. Our next question is 7 sets of 8 is dash less than 12 set of 5. So, at first we multiply 7 with 8. 7 8 are 56. Then we multiply 12 with 5. 8 5 are 60. Then we subtract these two number and we get the answer. 6 to 10, then 4, this 1 is here, that means 0. So, 7 set of 8 is 4 less than 12 set of 5, that means the answer is 4. Our 20 number question is, how many hours and minutes are there from 8.20 am to 9.40 pm? So, 8.20 am to 9.40 pm. So, 8... 20 a.m. to 8.20 p.m. There are 12 hours. So, left uh, 9.40. We need to go 9.40. Now, 
to make 940 one hour and 20 minutes will be needed for this reasons this one hour and 20 minutes is added with this 12 hours and it will be 13 hours and 20 minutes so the answer will be 13 hours and 20 minutes so our next question is the greatest four digit number is divisible by 10 which number is divisible to by 10 at first we know this a number which has 0 at one's place we say that that number is divisible by 10 the greatest four digit number is 9999 nine, nine, nine. but this number is not divisible by 10 because the one's place number is 9 if the number will be divisible then the one's place number will be 0 so the greatest four digit number divisible by 10 is 9990 okay our next question 22 how many units are there in 60 6 into half s scores 6 into half s scores at first we convert this that means 6 to the 12 and on 13 13 by 2 s scores we know that 1 s score equal to 20 things 13 by 2 multiply by 2 we divide this 20 by 2 and we get 10 and this 10 is multiplied with 13 and it will be 130 so 130 is the answer next question taking away 12.25 from 80 the answer will be hot that means we subtract 12.25 from 80 80.00 then 12.25 5 to 10 it will be 5 this one is added this 2 and it will be 3 3 to 10 uh, that means 7 carrying 1 this one added with 2 and it will be 3 3 to 10 that means 7 and this one is added with this one it will be 2 2 to 8 it will be 6 so the answer is 67.75 our next question is how many seconds are there in 20 12 minutes we know that 1 minute equal to 60 second so we multiply 12 with 60 and we get answer 60 by 12 so 6 and 12 72 if we multiply 12 by 6 we get 72 0 is here so 720 second is the answer number 25 please student notice i am a number between 100 and 120 the initial point is 110 and the terminal point is 120 that means that number lies between 110 and 120 i am divisible by 5 tamane that number is divisible by 5 so the number is 105 uh, because we know that a number whose ones place is 0 and 5 then that number is divisible by 5 that means a number which has ones place number is 5 and 0 that number is divisible by 5 so we can say uh, uh, 115 is that number 115 is that number and it is divisible by 5 and next question is cost of 3 dozens eggs at Taka 8 18.30 a dozen is Taka what that means 1 dozens price is 18.30 then 3 dozen we multiply this number by 3 and we get the answer that means 80.30 30 multiply by 3 3 0 are 0 3 3 is 9 and 3 8 are 24 carrying 2 3 1 are 3 5 that means sorry 54.90 okay 54.90 taka is the answer my dear students all short question all this short short question that means 1 to 26 1 to 26 
short questions will be your SW and the submission date of this SW is 7 6 20 Sunday and SW return date 10 6 20 Wednesday do your assign SW at home you have to submit your wall SW copies one every Sunday within 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the library and collect those copies on every Wednesday from the library. Guardians or anyone else can come to school for submitting or picking up the copies. Okay, my dear students, I hope you have understood our today's lectures. Keep practicing at home and abide by your parents. See you soon. Till then, Assalamu Alaikum. Thank you.